So a couple of videos back, I covered the new features of One UI 4.1 on the S20 FE 5G. And many of you have started to get the update now. So I thought to make a follow up video with my experience of using this device after this update for some days. And if you want to know all about the features, well you can watch the older video that I posted here. So here's a card to that as well. And I tested out things like the benchmark scores, performance and even the battery life in depth along with everything else that you need to know before you update. Anyways, before we start, make sure to tap on that subscribe button and press the bell icon if you haven't already, so that you can be the first one to know when a new video arrives. And in case you wish to watch this video in Hindi language, here is a card to the BitTech Hindi channel. The size of this update is more than 1 GB of course, which is huge and it does bring some new features to this device as well. Starting off with the battery life after this update, well it has not been that great as compared to One UI 3. I usually got around 7 to 8 hours of screen on time easily with One UI 3 and with this One UI 4.1 it is around 6 to 6.5 hours and maximum 7 hours of screen on time that I touched. So this doesn't involve gaming at all and yes the battery life isn't as amazing as One UI 3 after this update. So for the best results don't update to this version as of now. The charging time is same as before that is around 1 hour and 15 minutes in my case so no change here. Now about the camera quality, well it has been better in dark scenarios and you can use the ultra wide angle lens in pro mode as well now. Test, they did not give 2x telephoto mode or even the portraits on night mode which was mentioned in the change log. But for what it's worth, the camera quality is still very good. Though they did not give control over telephoto lens when using 3x mode or above and it starts to work whenever you zoom in up to 10x or more which is frustrating in my opinion. Now about the general performance and benchmark scores, well they have been pretty much similar to what was there before and the performance has been good too so far. The device runs fine for day to day tasks though you can still see some lag while scrolling once a while or so, which should not happen ideally but it is better in terms of smoothness as compared to One UI 4. The throttling issue is still there it seems and Samsung hasn't done much about it. Also I did not do much gaming but for smaller sessions it was fine. Though I don't consider this device for heavy gaming. But if I were to sum up the performance, well that has been good so far. But it still doesn't use the full power of this SoC to avoid heating issues. And I barely feel the warmth of this device with general usage and I have a lot of apps. So that is good for end users I guess. Overall if I were to say about this update, well it hasn't been the best experience in terms of battery life and some required camera tweaks. Other than that it has been fine. And if the battery life is your priority, then try not to update. Else you can just go ahead with it in my opinion. And that's pretty much it for now. So if you do end up liking this video, make sure you press the subscribe button and that like button while you're at it. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.